Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest. I've decided to start a series where I focus in on some of the really cool tools slash software that we have available in Linux. You know, it's great that we've got multiple really fast, nice operating systems to choose from, as well as a selection of awesome desktops that we can go in and customize and things like that. But, you know, we've got a great selection of software and tools, and, and tools are simple programs uh, that that we have at our disposal. And by the way, Mac and Windows users, the majority of our software, which is very good, is absolutely free. So, you know, granted, some of the names are hard to pronounce, and, uh, you know, some of the names are really funny, but nevertheless, they're very good applications and very useful tools. So I want to highlight a few of those. Now the majority of people watching this video at some time or other you have had to work with PDFs. So the first Linux tool that I want to uh, show everyone or share with everyone is called PDF Shuffler. Now if you are uh, running Linux and maybe you're new to Linux uh, you can go into your software center if you're running an Ubuntu based distribution and simply type all one word PDF Shuffler. I'm running an Arch-based system, and I can do that through Pac-Man as well, and that's a, a very quick and simple, fast install. So uh, once it's installed, you can simply launch, launch the application like we have here. Now, the first thing you would want to do once you have opened up PDF Shuffler is add your PDF. So in this case, I have two PDFs. Now these PDFs have nothing to do with anything that I'm really working on. I'm not buying a horse nor am I buying a car, but I just wanted to use these to illustrate how simple PDF Shuffler is. So I've added buying a horse and now we're going to add buying a new car. So you'll notice when you add the PDFs it separates the pages. So you could have multi-paged PDFs and I've used this for PDFs that's had you know up to 20-30 pages and it works just as well and just as fast. So once you have your PDF imported, now you have some options. And um, we'll go ahead and you've got icons here so you could select options from here. You can rotate. So here you could zoom in. So we'll do that. Or zoom out. So if you have lots of pages, of course you're going to zoom out. But I want you to be able to see this in the video. Now, uh, you can also highlight a particular page and you can rotate that page left or right or delete that page. Now you also have commands here with right click so I could again rotate right, rotate left, I could crop that particular page, delete that particular page and then I use this quite frequently I can export that selection. So let's say you have a multi-page PDF and you wanted to share one page with someone else but you didn't want to send them the full PDF so here you could go in and export that you could name that page so we'll say test in this case and click Save and now you've removed one section of that multi-page PDF that you can then email to your contact so that's a that's a part of PDF Shuffler that I use frequently uh, when I'm sharing information there you know there may be bits of information that I want whoever I'm sharing it with to folk be able to focus in on without having a large 20 or 30 page PDF so that's great but there's also other uses here that that I have used in the past and so I want to illustrate a few of those so here we have two pages that are related to buying a horse and we have four pages that are related to buying a new car so I'm going to illustrate how to combine two PDFs into one and uh, we'll kind of mix it up a little bit here so let's say that I wanted to keep the first page here of buying a horse page one but I don't need the information to buying a horse page two I'm gonna right click and say delete and then we'll do the same here let's say that we want to uh, keep page two in this case of buying a new car but we don't need page one so I'm gonna right click and say delete now let's say that uh, we've read through this and we think that page three really should be at the end of this we're simply going to left click and drag and drop that at the end now we've moved page three to the end so we got a chance here to zoom in and review this and if everything looks good 
and that is the flow that we would like for our PDF to be in, we can now go up here to File and Save As and save this new four-page PDF. So simply give it a name, and so we'll say Test New Save. So it's as quick and as fast as you've seen me here as I've gone through and worked with this. I find it really super valuable in working with PDFs. And um, again, this is completely free. It's very light. It's very fast and easy to install. It's just a fantastic Linux tool. So hope that helps. And let's do one other thing. Let's go in and launch our PDF. And I believe I saved that and download. So here's our new test new. And we'll zoom out. And so I would, you know, get get a kick out of sending this to someone because it goes from how to buy a horse into uh, how to buy a car. So <laughs> kind of fun. There's page, so there's page four, page three, page two, and page one. It's a great tool. Uh, check it out if you work with PDFs. I think you'll find it valuable, and I hope this helps. We'll check you later.